So I received a couple comments on the YouTube channel regarding um, how fast my phone is when I use my fingerprint. What do I do differently? Because some people have problems where it doesn't work all the time. So in this video, I'm going to show you the technique that I use to register fingerprints and also how you can rename fingerprints. Let's check it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu. We're going to choose settings. Uh, we're going to go into search. I'm going to choose fingerprints because I already have it there. I'm going to go into the fingerprint menu, and it's going to ask me to authenticate. So I'm going to use one of the fingers that I've already registered. And you'll notice that I have uh, named some of the finger, uh, fingers that I've registered, and one of them I haven't. But I'm going to show you how you add a fingerprint and also how you, you would register it the right way, or at least the most flexible way. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your finger covers the entire area um, of the actual home button. Uh, but what I like doing is I like rotating. I like showing every possible angle, and it's okay if you get a little um, error sign. And I even go as far as doing it upside down. And I'll do it this way. Because the reality is that you're never going to grab your phone in the exact same way. So a lot of people, when they register their finger, they're registering it in a way that um, is perfect. And when they go back to use it, they find that the fingerprint doesn't work. And that's because, once again, they haven't put it exactly in that same way. So if you register it the way I just did, you're going to run into um, having a more flexible, faster pattern recognition. And watch, I'll do it this way again. And now it's been 100% registered. Now watch how fast. I'm going to go back into the fingerprint section. So I'm going to go back into search, fingerprints. And I'm going to go into the fingerprint section. And I'm just going to put my finger on it. I don't have to really worry about how I placed it because it's going to read it much faster because it has so many different angles or impressions. I could also then go into this one right here, press and hold, and I can say rename it. And I can call it, you know, index, right, if I wanted. And then I can rename it. So now I have my index finger. Um, I already have a right index finger, so I can do this too. I can use remove, and it will basically delete it. So I hope this helps you um, use the fingerprint scanner and rename and organize your fingerprints.